is alive this evening after being shot 11 times. The shooter now dead. That's after an hours long standoff in Pinellas County this morning. Eight on your side's Nicole Rogers has the latest from Seminole. Between deputies blocking off Park Boulevard and the SWAT team showing up, around 100 people from Pinellas County Sheriff's Office spent over 10 hours trying to resolve this issue. This morning at like 2 a.m., we saw the flashing lights in the parking lot. A shocking Sunday morning wake-up call for neighbors in Seminole. It's scary. You, it's stuff you see on TV. Like, you don't really know it's going to be in your backyard. From armored tactical vehicles to a mobile command unit and even a robot, neighbors were left wondering what's going on. Moving to Florida, you think it's a safer area. Deputies set up a staging area in the parking lot of Oakhurst United Methodist Church, calling senior pastor Nathan Carlson around 5.40 a.m. Right after that, when I figured out they'd be here a while, we canceled services. Deputies say it all started when a 65-year-old man shot one of his family members. She walked out of the home with 11 gunshot wounds, two to the head. She actually was able to walk out of the house, believe it or not, being shot that many times, and went across the street to a neighbor's house. Um, and that neighbor called us. So why did the operation take over 10 hours? To be safe. So we, we did have information that uh, inside the house were rifles and pistols. Um, and, and we just don't, what we call, go tactical on the house. That is just send a SWAT team in. It's just not the safest way to go. We, we do a slow and methodical, sneak and peek, get all the information we can get. Chief Deputy Paul Halley says it all came to an end around 11.45 a.m. when they sent in a robot that found the suspect dead. Ultimately, we were able to uh, gain access to the house, and we did find a male inside with a single gunshot wound to the head. It just goes to show that this can happen anywhere. This is a nice neighborhood. It's a pretty peaceful neighborhood, but this, this happens anywhere. Now, the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office says there is a lot more to the story, and this is an active investigation. Of course, we'll continue to bring you the latest information here on air and online at WFLA.com. In Seminole, Nicole Rogers, 8 on your side.